play is one of the fundamental uh, qualities of performance. Play can be a mood, like I'm um, playing around. It can also be a game, such as uh, chess or football. Uh, and play comes in a, a wide variety of categories. Roger Calois, who is one of the great theorists of play, uh, defined uh, four kinds of play. Agon, or conflict, and that we see in all kinds of drama. We see it in sports. We see it in zero-sum games. Mimicry, which is imitation, of course. And that kind of play occurs when we mask, when we play a character in a drama, when we are a ballet dancer, and in everyday life. Uh, aliyah, chance, and uh, that is very popular, you know, gambling, casinos, uh, throwing of dice, but also taking chances in everyday life where we calculate, should we do this or should we do that? Sometimes when I was a kid, I'd play chicken about crossing the street. You know, you run across and the traffic was there. So this is a kind of dangerous game, but it is a game and it's playful. And uh, then uh, finally, Illinx, which is dizziness. This is what we get when we go on a roller coaster or uh, when we go uh, 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 skydiving or something of this sort, where, where we're destabilizing ourselves. Now, if you think of all these four kinds of categories, you see how they can be mixed and remade into all kinds of uh, different uh, kinds of performative behaviors. There's also the difference, and I think we need to pay attention to it, between rule-bound play, where the rules generate the actions. That's mostly sports. If you follow the rules, you will get certain kind of actions. And, of course, we play with the rules because you have umpires, which means the umpires or referees decide whether you've cheated or not. Now, are you supposed to cheat? No, but you're supposed to push the boundaries. Uh, sometimes play can be very informal, even sports, where the rules bend around. So in American baseball, for example, there's supposed to be nine players. But if you do what we call sandlot baseball and you find out there are not 18 kids who can play, so you do a team with six or, uh, or, or something. You can bend, bend the rules. But there's other kind of play, free improvisation, which, where the events themselves kind of generate their own rules as you're going on. So this occurs in lots of theater games. It occurs in contact improvisation and so on and so forth. Now, what all of these things share is that play is deeply creative. Play creates its own reality. If you compare it or contrast it to ritual, rituals are where the reality is kind of imposed. It's not only the rules of the ritual, but the actual procedures. When are you to raise the cup? When are you to uh, uh, incise the body? When are, you know The actions and the rules. But in, in play, uh, there's a lot of room for free activity. And that is something that distinguishes play and underlies performance. And I think that most performances, all performances, exist in a kind of creative tension between ritual and play.